Good evening, everybody. It's Anna, and I'm back to show another jewelry haul. This is my Saturday jewelry haul. I do one every Saturday and every Wednesday. I sell from these jewelry hauls, so if you see anything you're interested in purchasing, please email me at vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. My email is always down in the description section underneath my video, as well as my sales schedule. The next time I will be on live to sell here on my channel is on Monday, September the 26th. I will come on at 8 p.m. Eastern time, and I will have a live buy it now jewelry sale with some auction items possibly as well. But you're welcome to contact me now. Like I said, if there's anything that you're interested in purchasing and you would like to grab it. So, um, yeah, we were out today. Me and uh, my youngest were out for a number of hours. We visited a number of places. Um, I found these. These are uh, Neiman Marcus for Trafari interchangeable earrings in the original box. They're signed Trafari on the back, and like I said, it's Neiman Marcus for Trafari. I didn't try taking this piece out to see if I have a slip under there, but I don't. Um, yeah. They're clips, and you can take that piece out and change them there. Like I said, everything I show back here, see the hoops, uh, clip hoops are signed Trafari, Crown Trafari, I think. Let me see. Let me show you in case you're interested. I did look these up a little bit. I didn't know they were Crown Trafari. I took them out and I saw Trafari on it, okay? So then, um, yeah, it's a Crown Trafari piece. So this is mid-century. I saw Tra Crown Trafari on it and I was like, okay. So then I did a little research and I saw that there were Neiman Marcus, you know, I, I must have made jewelry for uh, Trafari at some point. I'm going to research them a little more, but that's what my take was by looking briefly Again, there they are. I think they're nice. They're mid-century, and they are in the original box. Let me leave them opened, and I'll put them in the back. Okay, so I'm putting everything back there. There's a lot. I found a Whiting and Davis wallet. Look, this is nice. Opens up there. Says Whiting and Davis in there. You have a little pocket hair. This clips, and it opens on the other side as well. Same thing, there's a pocket there. And then you have, over here it opens and you could put money in there. And then you have the centerpiece, so. It's in good shape. It's probably about a six by a six, I think, or five by a five. Waiting Davis wallet. I found a Python. Oh, like python leather as well this is bosca i think it's pronounced b-o-s-c-a genuine python well i call it python leather it's it's python it opens there also opens here so you have a little area like for cards in there and money there's an area for a card there and it feels nice actually and again it opens in here where it says it that's by B-O-S-C-A, Genuine Python. There's that. <laughs> um, I have these, I'm gonna weigh these. I have my scale here. Just gonna give as much details as I can in case. I, I always give details if you contact me and you're interested in purchasing, stuff, purchasing something. I will give you additional, like all the details you need, even a weight. I can't give a weight on this. I'll have to pull the other scale out if anybody asks me. If not, this is nice. This has some weight to it. It feels like it's at least 10 grams of sterling. Um, let me go back on that a little bit. It's a torque. Sterling silver torque. I don't know exactly how much it weighs. I'm curious though. See the the um there's a difference, a slight difference by like 0.2 grams or um I have a jewelry scale, it's a smaller one, and I have the postage scale, and there's a difference. So I'll have to put this inside a bag and weigh it if I get a weight, or I'll just put it on the postage scale. It's not much of a difference. But there's that I can just take off. That's sterling. And then I have sterling and onyx and sterling and mother of pearl torques. There's the sterling and onyx. It's nice. I tested them real quick just to make sure. 
and then there's um, a sterling and mother of pearl, like I said. So we have a sterling and onyx and a sterling and mother of pearl torque. It was torque day. Um, and this one, this one's a little heavier weighted and shaped a little, a little bigger than these ones. These ones are like choker collars, like right up at your collar bone. And this one goes a little below, I believe. Let me try it on me just to see. About the same length, actually, just shaped different, and it's heavier. So there's three sterling torques, mother of pearl and onyx, and just sterling silver. Um, I find a nice Swarovski necklace. Look at this. This is nice. It's, you know, Swarovski signed with swan gold plated and crystal. This is multicolored. You have pink, you have green, clear, and blue. Those are the colors. It's signed the swan. Here's the picket. Yeah, this is like, this is like, I have a bracelet like this. I didn't sell it when I tried. It goes, it comes out like a pearl clasp and it's like a push in box. So, but there's the colors. Those are Swarovski crystals and it's gold plated like their jewelry is. There's that. There's the clasp. It has the swan on it and the three colors or four. That's a clear. Yeah, there's four. Or is it yellow? I mean, it's clear. Yeah. Okay, so there's Swarovski. This is about 30 inches. If anybody wants it, I, I will measure it if they email me. Um, this is nice. This is, I tested this. This is gold filled, and this one's nice because look at all the different stones on it. This is a gold filled vintage scarab bracelet, and there are multiple. Um, it is onyx. That's Tiger Eye. I, I don't know all of them. Um, they're all stones. Different colors. They're, it looks like carnelian there. But we have, this. that's what this is. And it has the original safety chain. It's a vintage scarab um, gemstone with the hieroglyphics in the back bracelet. This one's nice. I, I, mean, I don't typically find them uh, than when I do, which I do find this like type of thing not real often. I passed on another one actually that was less stones. I picked this one up because we have a number of different stones on it. A variety there. That looks like a unikite kind of. I don't know if it is. I don't see the pink. But those are gemstone with hieroglyphics signed on the back. and The original safety chain in a spring ring clasp. It's gold filled like I said. Hopefully my camera looks okay. I'm using a new tripod I bought. It's a little better. It sticks on there. I won't knock it over. This is a beautiful Weiss. Looks like a pinwheel. It's a beautiful pronged Weiss. It's vintage. Um, signed Weiss back there. Clear stone rinds. Clear, um, clear rhinestones. Trying to hold it still. I'm listening to people. I don't want to move too fast. I guess I should. A lot of people, when they're showing a bulk of jewelry that I am, they, they don't use tools. Um, I'll, I do try to use a bust on all the necklaces and so forth. But it gets a little. I have a lot of jewelry here. Probably not as much as I normally do, but I still have a decent amount. I have a fantastic Judy Lee with a fold-over clasp. This is a mid-century Judy Lee. Look at that. Panel bracelet. Let me find the little bust. Here it is. I'll use this. Hopefully it's not too dusty. But this is Judy Lee. It's signed Judy Lee right here. Signed Judy Lee. And it's nice. It's like a textured. Uh, there's the back. These are held in with two prongs. One here and one there. And that's glass. Like stars, I think. Not stars, just cuts. And it's, it's nice. I don't even know what to call that glass in there. Kind of like, like looks like mosaic glass in a way. And it's a shorter bracelet. It's vintage. Let me measure it. I'm curious. And I'll hang it back up and show it again so you can get a good look at it. What it looks like hanging up. It's nice. This is a, a nice bracelet. I was happy when I found it. It is. It's a seven incher. It's not overly small. I've seen them smaller, but you, you know seven inches so six six and a half I guess inch it's nice 
tomorrow made. I think it's nice. I'll leave that sit there. This is cute. Those are glass. It's just red, white, and blue. That's for that 4th of July. It's a flower. It doesn't have a maker's mark on it, but it's a nice, it's a nice little vintage birch. They're all, um, set. That's about three inches. And there's the back. Uh, I think it's important to see the back of the jewelry. When I see people buy jewelry without seeing the back, I, I don't know what to think about that. But I would always ask to see the back of the jewelry when you're buying something to confirm. You know, if somebody's telling you something is a certain dating or time period, you should always ask to see the back. You should always ask to see the clasp. You know what I mean? Because sometimes, you know, people, nobody knows everything. And nobody's perfect, so they could all err. You know what I mean? So if you're, like, a consumer, like, you're buying for yourself, you should educate yourself on what you're buying. And you should try to learn and, and take it, you know, in for yourself as well. So then that means when somebody's telling you something's like an Art Deco or anything, you know, ask to see the components that they're they're say you know the pieces of it like you want to see the clasp you want to see the back of it you want to see what the pin looks like if it's a brooch or something and not just take it for their word i'm not saying you can't trust people i'm just saying you need to make sure you know for yourself i do at least i think it's important okay these this is lovely these are 14 karat gold wires let me show them to you i'm gonna take my hands off them Okay, those are 14K, and I believe the ball was too. I didn't test it, but I will. But the wires are 14K, rice pearls and onyx hearts, dainty, beautiful little earrings. That piece is 14K. It's marked too. I did see it. It's hard to read it, but and I think that's gold. I'll test the ball. But you got pearls. Hopefully my lighting looks good. I have a lot of light on in here. I'm going to hang those up right there. I'll be right back. This is going to be a, a little bit of a long video. They usually are, it's just so I can give a, um, an account, you know, show you what I found. Let me turn on one more light. <laughs> I like a lot of light. Yeah, you have to excuse me for this. I'm in, I'm, again, I'm in, right? I didn't, I want a little more light. All right. I think that might help a little. It looks a little dull in here to me, but it always looks duller on my phone than what it actually is. And then when I see it as a video, it's not. But these are nice, right? Little rice pearls and gold. See the gold? Yeah, I can see the gold a little better now. 14K on the wires. And those balls, I believe, as well. I couldn't imagine them not putting 14K there. This is Jim's. This is, uh, let me test this real quick. Just gonna confirm to make sure it's not glass. This is my haul video, so this type of thing. I didn't test this one. Yeah, I think this one's glass, actually. Huh, okay, good. It's just glass. I thought it was stone. Let me let me make sure my jump tester is off a bit out and about. I'm gonna put the these uh scarabs on it yeah because the scarabs are gemstone i did test them because i think you know it's nice to when you get a gemstone one of these sometimes they're not that one actually is this is glass though it's pretty it doesn't have a um clasp on it looks like windshield glass kind of doesn't it? i mean it's pretty but i can't believe it's not i thought it was stone one more time one second i'm sorry to like try to keep my hands out of the way because I know that that'll change the, con the heat if my hands are on the glass it can change it okay it's it's glass I think very pretty it's a strand I think it's a nice color don't you it's very long it's probably like 42 inches so I'll test it again before I offer it but I'm pretty certain that it's glass at this. There's Mother of Pearl inlay and it's brass. I'm going to wipe this down before I sell it. Um, it's nice. So it kind of reminds me of a, a hatchet. Mother of Pearl inlay, brass, a barrel clasp. It's nice. It's a nice piece. It's a quality piece of jewelry. Um, 
I like it. I think it's nice. Let me put it over here with the, the brass with the uh, sterling. Oh, look at this. Mary DeMarco. It's been a while since I found her, but this is a fabulous Mary DeMarco. Probably one of the nicest I've ever found. I found a few pieces of her jewelry. She has nice jewelry. This is pewter. It's an octopus. Grandson loves octopus, and this chain is very lovely. Look. Mary DeMarco. It has a toggle clasp that is a mermaid, and that's a piece of coral or seaweed, not undecided. Pretty mermaid though, lovely. And look at it. It's signed Mary DeMarco on the back. It says something else as well. Let me see what it says. One second. Um, no, just Mary DeMarco. And look, there's a fish back there. That's a fish. Pretty cute, actually. I forget what this is called. I have to look. There's a name to her. Um, this line like there's just a name to it I, i'll look and see and little like rhinestones clustered all in here and they all seem to be there it's pretty fabulous mary demarco nice octopus with a don't mind that i tape something on there and there that's what oh so fabulous that's a fabulous necklace but it's not sterling it's pewter it may have a plating on it, but I didn't even test it, but I'm pretty certain it's pewter. Pretty cool. I have a pair of sterling um, mermaid earrings, too, that somebody, a big lady, wore with them. Um, wore with it, but look. These are sterling silver, though. Um, but they they were at the same house, at the house, so I think that she wore these. Um, going back to the house tomorrow to see. There were some, like, some different knickknacks and stuff I want to check into. But look, sterling silver mermaid with rhinestones in her tail or crystals in um, her around at the top of her fin. She's beautiful. Love her back. I don't know if they're marked, but they test a sterling. I, I tested these little lever back mermaids. Fabulous. They got a nice weight to them. They're, they're not real heavy. What I mean by that is they're not cheap, like really, like real cheap real inexpensive like uh no weight at all to them let me tell you how much they weigh pretty cool they're three grams each so they're doable wearable but they're not just really thin because they're small you know they're earrings i like them i think they're fabulous um everything's fabulous to me you'll call for new people watching me i try and mix up the words but it's it hard sometimes all right these again I have to test these. <laughs> and this one just fell off of this thing. No, it didn't. There it goes. Okay, look at the luster on this pearl. I believe that's 14K too. I'll test it again. Um, I don't want to test it right now. I don't, I've been trying to test the acid with my gloves on. Because I burnt myself not long ago. It hurt. Um, so I'm trying to be a little more careful. So let me hang them up. This is a beautiful coin pearl. It's it's a lovely, look at the luster on that. It's a very nice pearl. So you can see the natural characteristics of it. And the luster is absolutely beautiful. And I believe those are 14K. I will test them as well. The other ones I tested and I saw them working. These ones I I pulled out of the bag. I left them at the bottom, and but these are beautiful as well. If they're not gold, I'll, I'll let you know gold, gold filled before I sell them. Um, this big chunker. There's a lot more. Stick around. This is nice, actually. Look, if you like yourself a big bracelet, that's like two inches that way. So it's going to cover your whole wrist. And Look at all those lights. How many lights do it, does Anna have? <laughs> I have one, two, I have four lights. And I have two more I bought that I never put up. Okay, I am. There's a, there's a lot more to see. Look at this little fella. Little mother of pearl donkey. Look at him. He's about an inch and a quarter. I think he's adorable. Here, crown for furry, mid century crown for furry um, crown with clear rhinestones. It's a crown for furry with a copyright. 
mid-century. It has the trafarium on it, the coating, and clear rhinestones. And there's the back. It's signed Crown Trafari down there. And it's a crown. Pretty cool. Nice. I didn't research it yet, but I was happy to find it. I like Crown Trafari. I Oh, look. Okay. Oh, look at these. Look at these. I'm Okay, I got to confirm this with the jeweler. When I get a piece of jewelry that tests us something, I'll take them up and ask him to look at them. I, I should be able to do that tomorrow if he pops in. If not, it may not be till Tuesday, so these won't be sold. Till I can confirm. Mabe Pearls. Fabulous. And I believe that's a... Let me hang it up. I believe it's diamonds. I tested it. Um, there's some small. They're not big diamonds, but they're not real small either and they're lovely let me show it to you sterling silver although i didn't test that either <laughs> but they are they say nine uh, i think they I'll, I'll test them all right it's a big like almost a whole it's not a mulberry pearl it's like a whole pearl laying there a beautiful lustered pearl look at it yeah and then those little i believe those are diamonds actually i will t i will uh confirm it with them but they're very pretty, I think. They're lever back. The pearl's very nice in there as well. See, they're not real big. Yeah. Oh, I'll check it with him. I mean, it's gem testers going up there. It's hard not to hit the metal, but they look like it too. I mean, they have, they have the look of diamond. I just hit metal. See, so sometimes I hit the metal and sometimes I don't. I'm sorry. Hopefully that noise isn't too noisy. Okay. I'll test it later. I don't want to drive people nuts. I'm just, they're really beautiful earrings. I like those. I mean, I want them. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, this is 14 karat with a crown that's marked. Let me show it to you if I can. I'll get my nails done Monday, guys. Those of you who know I've know me, I who've been on here, new people know I I'm terrible at manicuring. I'm going. Oh my god, my nail looks terrible. That's why I'm saying I got. Um, sorry, that's awkward for me to say that, isn't it? Okay, they do look bad. I got some uh, stuff on them. And my cuticles need done. Okay, it's 14k and um and a crown. That's a 14k clasp on there. It's a um a pearl clasp like a fisherman's, and these are pearls again and gemstones. It's strung on some type of string, but there is multiple types of stone on there. And pearls looks like it has some amethyst, some carnelian. Um it's pretty. The clasp is 14 karat gold. I tested it. And testing everything, um, getting a better understanding of how the line should never fade. I know that now it's been confirmed by somebody I trust on here on YouTube, and I also confirmed it to Jeweler and, uh, and another YouTuber that I don't talk to, but I watched his videos. He does, um, he said it should be there until you wake up. <laughs> and then that's what the jeweler said too. So the line shouldn't fade on any of the jewelry you're testing, like even overnight is what I was told. Um, and I, you know, so I'm getting much better at testing it. Yeah. I, it, it takes, it's, it's a skill. I think that's just gold time. But look how cool. These are like a little Mayan guy or something. Like some type of Aztec or, I don't know what they are. African Aztec. I have no idea. Look how cool the earrings that's just gold tone up top and it has like a little coating over it. Like I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Let's see if they stick to a magnet. At this place I, I found like a lot of gold features findings on the jewelry. Like with this. This has gold, this has gold. Um, those have gold. I think I have one more item that has gold. I mean, it's not a tremendous amount of gold. I think these are gold. I have to test them. But this one and this one definitely is. And I think those are diamonds. Um, I'll make sure. I don't know if I'll sell those ones anyways. I'll probably wear them for a while. But these are cool. Don't you think? I like them. I, lo I really love like those earrings. I think they're fabulous. This is unmarked. It's nice. It's about three inches. And... 
it's not faded that's just the way it looks like in this lighting but that's a a rose <laughs> as you can see it's about three inches looks like the crown trafori but it's not i um i know that vitriol glass this is what i consider to be vitriol glass no this is vitriol glass i'm gonna put this on i really like this bracelet um look see that you know like the old rosary beads um if you, i have a couple pair on my wall i haven't like sold them or anything yet i don't really like some religious things i um myself but i do okay you see that i had a, i had a little bit like of a time where i was questioning and but no this is that's not a coating over this at, at all that that is not a coating over the glass that's coming from within. That's vitriol glass. That's a coil bracelet. Vitriol glass. Beautiful, actually, don't you think? And those are glass beads on there. I didn't test them to see if they're stone or the content of the metal. I didn't test yet because I was wearing this. Look at it. It's beautiful. That's a vitriol glass coil bracelet. This reminds me of um, K24. It's made like it, kind of. But I don't, if anybody knows, I'd appreciate it, your input. I've been working on it. I don't want to get my hands all close up in there like I said, I need a manicure. And it's it's embarrassing to me, I'm going to admit that. I was out, <laughs> it was a rough day. It's, let me show it to you. Who cares? If you don't, you know, if nobody, if somebody don't like it, then they, they don't have to look at it, right? Isn't that how that is? Um, my nails are a mess, so I apologize for that. You see that? I don't know what that says, okay? It's definitely not K24, and I know this isn't Japanese Rite of Passage bracelet for a young girl or anything, okay? But it's cool. It has, like, it's gold tone. I didn't test the metal, but, you know, it's not gold, I don't think. I'll test it to make sure. I don't think it is, but there's these little animals all over it. It's a box clasp with that writing on the back. And that's all I see, and that looks like a kind of like, I don't know what they are, rams, kind of, and people. If anybody knows the, what what this is, what country this comes from or anything, I'd appreciate your input, please. It's a nice, nice bracelet. It's well made. And I believe it would have some kind of value to it, but I don't. It has a nice weight to it. Let me hang it up and show it to you to get my hands out of there so you can see it better. See, look, you have like little people. And I believe that looks like a ram or a horse. No, there's rams. That's like a ram right there. Or a goat and a woman. And that kind of, I don't know what that is. Kind of looks like a horse in a way, but I don't know. And it repeats itself and goes around and it has that clasp. And that's how I can show you the clasp if I don't want my hands in it. Give me a minute. Let me put it on backwards and let me show it to you again. See if anybody knows, I'll turn it around. <laughs> I am wasting a lot of time on this. Sorry. Oh. Well, I can't be accused of Russian, right? Or having my hands in at this point. No, I'm joking. Um, there. That's what it says. Now, let me turn it upside down. I, I think that is just some kind of like... You can't even see it. That's not how, but I'm sorry. Okay. It's cool, and I think it is, and I like it, but I don't know... Like anything about it but I would like to know let me make it a little bigger she's okay there's more this is um, garnet I believe on her uh, yeah it is garnet I tested this garnet marcasite and sterling silver with a sterling silver chain it's a pretty cross the um, marcasites this is nice this is a nice um, it's fully I'll see if it was closed construction on this piece here. Okay, there's the chain. It's it's sterling. It's one of those safety, like, I don't, I don't really, I call that a precious metal class, but I know there's probably another name for it. It's not really lobster claw. It's a little different, I think. But there you go. Nice. Look at the marcasites in the middle stone as a garnet. And then there's the back. I think it's lovely. It's a nice little garnet in there. I don't know the dating of it. I I don't I don't 
I don't know how people can spew out what that date that's from just by looking at it. Um, <laughs> I can't do that at this point. This is old. Um, if anybody knows this as well, if one of you people, ladies who what who know of this stuff, watch. Uh, this is old. I'm not sure how to date this exactly. I believe it's Peking glass. Now the marcasites are fully pronged on this, and the prongs are. Let me enlarge it. Let me show it. It's pretty nice actually to work the enlargement. I think. See, they're fully pronged. This marcasites. That's what you have there, and you go in the back. Any of this. It needs cleaned. That's what you have. Kind of crude elements there. Again, the front. The marcasites are all fully pronged. And this is pronged in as well. And the prongs. There's four prongs. Well, one piece of, you know. It's cute. It's old. It's old. I don't know exactly how old. I did something I'm learning. Um, this is, oh, this is fantastic. Opal glass and, um. I believe those are just red glass on there as well. This is a retro Coro, Coro brooch, C-O-R-O. -C -O Signed Coro script, it's retro. Look. Red 1940s. I have to test it and see if it's gold filled or not. I don't know, but look at that. It's nice, I really like it. I. I like Coro. I collect some of it, especially if it's 1940s. I I, ha I mean I, I know it's retro. I can I can tell. I can tell that. But that's Coro. Comedy tragedy costume, pure costume. No more maker's mark. But for me, because I keep it, I think you could see well enough on my hands. So. I'm not worried about throwing these on a pillow. I'm doing 50 minutes worth of video here. Um, oh, I found a nice, oh, this is lovely. I gotta replace one stone, I need to find it. This is a Trafari without copyright. This is an mm, early 50s necklace, maybe older. I'd have to research it to make sure. Look at it though, it's missing one big stone. Hopefully I can find it um, to re replace it, to repair it. It's missing a stone there. But look at the colors, how pretty these are. And they're glass, I think. Let's see, you'd be, they do have some gemstone, but this definitely isn't, I wish. And, looks like it would be a listener or something. You know, like their style, but it's signed Trafari on the inside of the hook. And it's really lovely colors. We have purple, blue, and pink, and then clear rhinestones around. And the back, it is, Looks like a rhodium plating on there to me. It's closed. It's a J hook with a ball on the end. And again, here it is. This is a choker. This is a shorter necklace. It's vintage. It's Trafari without a copyright. It's beautiful. I think it's just Trafari and not crown. It's lovely. The stones are a nice color, don't you think? I like that nice, like, light colored stones vintage stones are very it's beautiful this is a new gold at new york i'm gonna hang it up to show it well it's signed gold at new york back there it has it's so cute a little snake a flower a little snakey of a glass stone in his back those are faux pearls and a green stone here we have a flower those are stones rhinestones and what's this a bumblebee, I believe that is. And then very last you have to start to fold over class. This is retro, it looks retro to me. I dated, look at the dating to see, I don't know how long I've been making jewelry. So I'll confirm that for myself and for when I sell it, but look. It's gold at triple strand going across with, the snake's adorable. You see him? He's coiled up with a stone in the center, knotted. He looks like a pretzel. So it's a vintage Goldette, mid-century. I don't really don't know how old. Uh, I know it's mid-century, but I found a pair. Look, this is this is modern. I changed my name to Vintage Jewelry Galore and More by Anna. Have did anybody notice that anybody gets in this far? The reason being is all the jewelry I show and sell is not vintage. I sell stone 
um, some sterling that's modern occasionally. I do prefer the vintage, but if I see something else that's beautiful, I'll pick it up. Look at that, look at that. This is modern, look how beautiful that is. Definitely not vitriol glass. I wouldn't call this vitriol glass. But beautiful, right? Yeah, I, I love that bracelet. This is nice. I think this is nice. It's a modern, it has a lobster claw clasp and there's the chain, but it's very pretty. Look at that. I think it's really lovely. Maybe it is a vitriol glass. I don't know. It looks, <laughs> I am myself confused. I don't know. It's, be, it's a beautiful glass bracelet, necklace. This is unmarked. It's a cameo. Kind of looks like something like it's a little faded back there. Unless it's supposed to look like that. It's a reversed carved cameo. Let me hang it on something. Like put it on something to get a better view. She's left facing. Yeah. It's a costume piece. Glass, reversed, carved. It's unsigned. Kind of reminds me of it would be like a Germany piece. Um, I found this um, thermoset set. Like it's a nice blue. I found a pair of earrings with it. Uh, it's a choker. It doesn't I don't see a marking on it. Um, when I looked, it's a Jayhawk with no marking, but it's a baby um, blue, pastel blue. Uh, let me hang it up and I'll show it to you. I'll show you the back real quick. Um, it's open back there, that's that. But there's that. And then these earrings go with it. These are clips. These appear to be a rhodium plating on there to me. And this is thermoset baby blue set. Look how pretty choker it has an ex extender on it's probably like 14 to 16 inches i'll measure it later before i sew it when i offer it nice nice thermoset set i'm gonna leave it sit there this is listener mid-century listener looks mid-century to me it could be 70s actually it looks like it needs a washing too but look that's a listener um it's nice gold tone with enamel signed listener for copyright I don't find many listener brooches. Okay. So that's a little rarer for me to find. And I don't see many. I mean, I'm not all over the place watching sales either lately because I'm so busy. But who knows? There could be tons of them and I just never find them. Okay, what else? This lucite looking, well, I'm going to call it like a glowy bracelet. I can't say it's lucite for sure or not. But it's like a great, like a dark blue. And it's a bangle. I picked it up. Here, why not? Um, this is Monet. This is well weighted. Has some weight to it. It's like a maple leaf, I think, right? It's signed Monet for copyright. And it's wiped off. Got a nice plating on it. It's about two inches. These are amber. And look at this first. This is cool. I think. Look at that. This is a brooch, and it's like pulls out of there. And we have, God, my nails look terrible. Good God, I got, I've got to stop testing the hot gloves. I burnt myself and then it gets under my nails. That's why I'm not testing anymore. I did that yesterday and it's like, it stains your fingers and your nails if it gets under there. It's just terrible, even if it doesn't hurt. But that's a pin glass that's glass with um, some gold stone throughout it, like gold stone color. It's big. It's about four inches. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. I don't see a marking, but that's the bottom and that's the back and it pulls out of there. <laughs> it spins around. I don't know what it's supposed to be. But I grabbed it because I thought it was kind of cool. This is very lovely. Let me show us. This is amethyst and marcasites. This is a sterling silver. It's a four and three quarters to a four and a half, something like that. Amethyst and marcasites. It's a lovely amethyst stone. Look at it. I was trying to find a ring holder to put it on. Um, it's beautiful. It's opened in the back. And um, it's a nice, it's small. It's very pretty, I think. What else do I have? 
share amber clips. These are Sterling Silver amber clip earrings. It clips good on them. I just clipped it closed. Hear that? There's another one. Okay, look. Pretty. Amber and Sterling Silver. Um, this is like a little gluey necklace. Look at it. It has one of those hidden clasps. Look. I think it's cute. I like. I pick up plastic jewelry all the time. I need told myself I'd stop, but look at it. And it, there's the hidden clasp inside there. Hidden. It's a barrel barrel clasp. I think it's cute. I have two very long. Look at these necklaces. A B necklaces. I mean um, glass. There's two of these. Faceted glass necklaces, very long. Let me double them up. And they have barrel clasp on them. There's one, and then there's this one. They're long, I don't know, they're like four feet each. There's two of them. Faceted glass, long faceted glass necklaces. They have barrel clasp on them, so they could be like opened and twisted around. Um, thank. Sorry about that. I have a stand that sits six suction now, and I'm unfortunate for that. This is a holographic necklace. This is pretty cool. It has a yin and a yang and a sun inside of it. Look at it. It's cool, and it's on a yeah. A piece of material. So look how that shines. That's pretty neat, actually. I'm gonna leave it hang there. It's a yin and a yang and a sun. Um, this pin. It's pretty cool. It's gold tone. Has some. Uh, it's um gold tone. Has some AB rhinestones in there and enameling. It's nice. It's a vintage pin brooch. Kind of reminds me of a wreath. That's really cool to shine on it, isn't it? Um, these earrings, these are unmarked. These look like they should be marked. Those are glass for clear rhinestones and faux pearls, and these are Paris earrings. They're like three inches, and they look like it should have somebody's name on them. I'll look at them a little better and make sure they don't. I don't think they do though. This is a really adorable little, no marking on it as far as I can see, but this is a little bug. It's a, a fly, I think. Does it look like a fly? It's about an inch and the stone's nice. They look like the diamondique, uh, I don't know, glass or glass or crystal. It's not diamond, I know that. And it's gold tone, maybe gold plated. One more necklace. I think this is pretty. I don't know who the maker is on it. Um, because it's unmarked as far as I can see. It's um, acrylic, I believe, or plastic. I don't think there's any glass on there, but there's the, the clasp on it. And it has an extender and a Jayhawk, but it, it's unmarked as far as I can see. And these are very pretty, I think. Look at them. What do you think? nice i think it's a nice necklace and that ends it for today that's all i have for today um well wait i missed a pair of earrings that are laying over here look how pretty these are uh let me know what you like down in the in my comments uh and if there's anything you want you you're welcome to email me if you would like to purchase something ahead of time i saw off my haul videos on saturday and on wednesdays and um so if you ever see anything you want in those videos you just email me and ask for them these are beautiful Look at those. They're clip earrings. There's a bezel set down here. These are all prong set. These are vintage. Clip earrings. Beautiful clip earrings. They're about a three inch drop. They're really lovely. So that's what I have. Let me know what you liked. And if there's anything you're interested in purchasing for me, just contact me and we can talk about it. All right. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Um, 
I had a great day and I plan on having a great evening. I may go out for a walk. I definitely need one, need to start getting more exercise. Good for health, you know, time to yourself, health-wise, worrying about your health is important. All right, so everybody have a good evening. I will talk to, I will be back again. I'm going to come back again Monday, late morning, early afternoon with my uh, preview video. And I'll see you Monday evening at 8 p.m. Eastern time. All right, thank you, bye. Just stop by to say hi, even if you're not gonna buy anything, I'd appreciate it. Thank you.